Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we will discuss about SharePoint REST API crowd operation. So we will see an example where you can display list items, where you can do insert operation, where we can do update operation, delete uh, operation, we can do that. Uh, so for this, I have a, a SharePoint list. Let me just show you. So this is the SharePoint list. Uh, this is a classic SharePoint site, but you can see this is the modern look of a particular SharePoint list. Um, and I have created a web part page. Uh, you can see here if you go to pages. So REST API demo dot and you can see here this is a, a page. And we will uh, do all our examples here. So I'll basically use the script editor web part and we will put our co code in that so that we can test it and we will see how all these operations are working so for that uh, what i have done is i have written a complete uh, tutorial for the same uh, so that uh, i'll put the link in the video description so that you will get to know uh, you'll get all the code uh, script from there uh, from this page so now let's try to understand what is rest api so rest api is is another type of client object model like your javascript object model or uh, csum so where you are using csap.net with microsoft.sharepoint.client.dll so uh, it is another form of uh, client object model and the good thing is that uh, we can interact now with remote uh, sharepoint sites um, uh, from from our code uh, which uh, or from any technology in fact that support rest protocol rest uh, is a open um, is a open data protocol so th this is a very standard protocol that a lot of languages use that so any language that support from there you can connect to the sharepoint side now uh, rest stands for representational state transfer so this is basically the definition wise and api application programming interface so uh, it provides various endpoints so which are nothing but a http url that we construct for various operations so here we will see how we can do create update delete and display uh, operations and also if you are using sharepoint then uh, within sharepoint you can do the uh, rest api or you can use rest api in sharepoint add-ins or sharepoint solutions using client side object model so those things you can do in fact normally uh, you can uh, create a web part page you can add a content editor web part or a script editor web part and from there also you can execute your code and what is the advantages that you will get it so advantages is we can work remotely with sharepoint sites that's the main advantages that you will get provided the technology should support rest protocols and uh, another advantage is that you do not require to add any uh, sharepoint references for example if you work with sharepoint csom then you have you, you require the microsoft.sharepoint.client.dll if you want to work with json then we require to have sp.js file in the in the page but in this case you don't need any of the libraries on that now various http commands that we need to understand so when you will work with uh, uh, when you will work with sharepoint objects so we we have to uh, understand the commands basically that we want to trigger so for example if there is a get request there is post request we can put merge delete patch all these http methods we can use get get http get method you can see here http get method this one we we can use or we will use uh, when we want to read information from uh, the sharepoint server so if you want to uh, get let's say uh, all the list or libraries from a sharepoint site you want to get uh, the title of the sharepoint site anything you want to get though in those in those cases uh, we can use uh, your get method get http method then there is post operation so if you want to create or update of uh, uh, do anything for example you want to create a list you want to add item to a list you want to update item in those of uh, scenarios we will uh, use rest api post operations or the post http command will have will have to use this and in rest api post operation if any properties that are not required then uh, these are set to their default values and same way there is put and merge is there so if you want to update an existing objects let's say you want to update a list title you want to update uh, the item uh, so in those scenarios we can use rest api put and merge so but there is a little difference between your http put and merge what is the difference in case of merge so all the properties 
all the setting if you want to set these properties that is optional and if any properties that you do not provide then it will keep their current property on the other hand if you are using put operation then all these properties setting of is mandatory that means you have to put the value and uh, for any optional property then in if you do not specify then it will take the default values so in case of merge it will keep the current values in case of uh, put it will set the default values now delete as the name suggests if you want to delete any sharepoint objects then we uh, we use the delete http commands here now now next thing is we will understand this what is this rest endpoint that, that we talk about so in this case as, as i said we don't require to give any library reference so here we need to provide the url we need to construct that url and that is known as the rest endpoint in this case if you'll see here all the uh, endpoints will start from you can see https colon double slash your site url slash sites slash your site name so and then underscore api all this will start from this and after that based on your operation so uh, in this case if i'll give an example this is my sharepoint online tenant so you can see here this is my tenant name dot sharepoint dot com slash site slash you can see site name underscore api and if you want if you are using on premises version then you can see here this is my on premises url uh, till this much and then underscore api so your underscore api will start uh, uh, start in all these rest endpoints and uh, so if this url uh, again if you will hard code it let's say if you want to hard code it then when you will change this code to another site or uh, let's say you are doing in testing in your testing site if you want to move to your dev environment uh, or if you want to move to your production environment then in those scenarios um, you have to change the url again so instead of doing that if you will use this underscore hp uh, page context info dot web absolute url then it will give you the site url so and then and that means it will give till this much uh, you can put then underscore api and i have also put a link where you can uh, read more about this javascript variable now there are various uh, rest endpoints that uh, the, i have put some of the examples for example if you want to get the sharepoint site collection you can see here up to site then uh, underscore api slash site same way if you want to get a specific site or a wave then underscore api uh, on, then you can see slash wave same way let's say i want to retrieve the wave title so wave slash title if you want to get all the lists then, then wave slash lists so this is how you can your endpoint will looks like uh, another example let's say if you want to uh, get all leads all items from a list then you can see here underscore api slash web slash list get by title then trainings is my um, is my list name slash items so this is how you can uh, have your endpoint i have also put some more examples on that you can have a look at that anyway i'll put the link in the video description now coming to the crowd operation here so uh, all this code that i am showing here all are tested uh, i will also put that and i'll i'll, I'll we can also see this uh, but you can uh, you can go here you can copy it and you can uh, uh, test it um, um, as it is the code will work now uh, let me explain how exactly we are doing uh, before that if you are interested for sharepoint then i have a complete sharepoint training course you can see here sharepoint development training course this is more than 60 hours there are 23 modules are there uh, it includes your spfx power platform everything is there so and also you can get it lifetime i i put everything here in this page i'll put this link in the video description you can have a look at this complete module wise i have explained what other things are there you can have a look at that now coming back to our code so if i will show you here what we are doing we are using a jquery here uh, reference uh, because we are using uh, you can see dollar dot ajax uh, to call this url uh, or uh, to work with uh, rest api now for this particular case uh, we will see how we can get all the items from a sharepoint list in this case my list name is employees you can see here uh, i have a title column uh, default column uh, and then for that uh, what i did is uh, i put a button so on click of that button 
uh, I'm calling this get list items method where we have all our code. Now what is our code? As I said, you can write underscore SP page context info dot web absolute URL so that you don't need to put your site URL directly. It will uh, internally give you the site URL. And then this is our rest endpoint. You can see here complete. This one is our rest endpoint. As I said, if you want to get items from the list, then uh, we have to uh, do like this underscore API web lists get by title and then you put the title of the list uh, remember this is the title of the list this is not the internal name and then slash items and then you can see a uh, url the type is get uh, because we required uh, uh, to get the information and then header uh, on success uh, we are uh, on success method will be called if it is successful error on error will call if it is there is any error so on success what i have done here is we are getting uh, the results by using this data dot d dot results will give you uh, the complete uh, uh, results and then uh, you can see i have done a for each loop uh, sorry for loop for i equal to zero till items dot length and then we are getting the id and the title of the item then finally i am showing an alert uh, this slash r slash n this so that it will come in a new line if i will just copy this code let me just copy it and then i will go here edit the page you can see i will uh, uh, then add a web part here add a web part go to the uh, you can see here go to the media and content script editor web part click on add and then edit snippet i will put the code here uh, so you can see here the button is rendering and now i will refresh this page you can see here let me just remove it from there you can see this is the complete page here if you will click on get all items you can see here item 1 2 3 uh, 1 2 4 5 6 and then this is the values the title column so this is how we can get all these items here and uh, same way uh, if you'll see here there is a code to insert item uh, when we are doing insert item in these cases we'll have to use the post uh, http method uh, for any kind of post or update uh, insert or update we have to use post and there is one more thing that we will use here is request underscore uh, request digest so this is required if you want to do any kind of post operation uh, we need to basically send a valid uh, a request digest to the sharepoint page so your sharepoint uh, page will understand that this is a valid request and that value will be there in a variable which is known as double underscore request digest and we have to get this value and we have to pass it and this this is kind of a uh, token which will be valid for 30 days now x how we'll pass it we'll pass it like this you can see here x hyphen request digest and this is your value and this is in jquery how we can get value from a variable and uh, another important thing is uh, the type uh, we will i'll show you where we are using it uh, we need to pass sp dot data dot then your uh, your uh, list internal name and then list item for in this case this is how the syntax will be sp dot data uh, dot and then list internal name then list item so for example in this case employees so finally it become like sp dot data dot employee list item and that we will use here uh, i will show you you can see here the meta type we need to pass exactly what we are doing so if i will show you here exactly we are doing the same thing insert item is there and uh, um, there is a button uh, on click of that we are calling insert item uh, method here this is the method this is the rest endpoint that we are creating and uh, then you can see here uh, the url type is post data string dot uh, string json dot stringify uh, so it will become a string and you can see here underscore underscore metadata and for this metadata the type is a list item you can see here this is how we have to pass it and the title the, the column value is this one and then also we need to pass the header uh, and the x uh, request digest value as i said this is a must if you will not use it then uh, it will not work and then on uh, successful we are just displaying an alert which is saying that uh, uh, item added it successfully so let me just quickly copy this code and i will put in the same page uh, let me just edit it again and I will just remove it from here you can see insert stop edit uh, now if I will click on insert you can see here item added successfully uh, you can see here you can see the last item uh, seventh item is which we have added now 
now let me uh, show you one more thing so next thing is we will uh, update item so to update item we need to get this particular item which item you want to update so that is uh, that is the change that uh, that will happen in the rest endpoint so when you will when you will create your rest endpoint here in this case you can see here the rest endpoint is like this uh, get by title employees list then item slash get by id and you will pass the item id so i i pass the item as 4 uh, so if there is a uh, id 4 will be their item then only this one will update so you can see here the type is post uh, you can see x http uh, method we have to pass it merge so if it find one it will update it and uh, then this is the data uh, meta type and the title what is the thing that you want to change and on update it will give you a updated successful message and you can see here i put a screenshot on that and also uh, the item has been updated i am not going to show this but this code will work you can try it out as well now the last one we will see is delete list item so you can see here uh, so in the delete what will happen is again you will get the item uh, uh, by id so get by id you can see here i am getting the third item and then you can see here post operation and then here the x http method is delete you can see um, you can delete in this way so this is uh, the code that you can delete it and it will work expected you can see here i have already put a screenshot one more thing that I want to uh, show you here is uh, if you want to uh, test this code in the browser we can do that as well. So for example let's say I will take this one here I will just put it and then I will copy uh, from here. Now uh, what will happen here is uh, for any item let's say for the last item I will do here 7. Uh, for this item if i'll put in the uh, complete rest endpoint in the browser you can see here you will get a lot of properties here and you can see uh, the content type id the id uh, the title will be there also uh, let me just search over here you can see uh, title is there uh, uh, for this particular item you can see this one title and uh, apart from that there are other properties also you can see it on this so uh, the intention showing here is anytime if you want to see whether your rest rest endpoint is correct or not if you want to see in the browser you can simply uh, paste this in the browser and it will display so uh, this way you can uh, test it in the browser now if you want a similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 spfx power platform all these videos you will get it free thank you and have a nice day